G'day everyone, Professor Maple here. Welcome to episode 35 of Maple's World. Uh, today we're continuing some of the projects we uh, we started last episode. Uh, the village and or, uh, the town and the city projects for the settlers of Catan hexes. We're gonna work on some other things as well here. Uh, but right now I've got to wrangle this. I got to wrangle a cow. I need a cow for this build. You will understand in a sec here. Uh, you can see behind me here there's this uh, uh, really large uh, spire looking dealy. That's important. And actually, you know what? I think I want to go through this way. We're going we're gonna to showcase some of the work that's been going on since uh, just while we're, while we're dragging this cow along here. Uh, since last episode here. There we go. Break through. And uh, in we go. This is this is. We still have the old iron farm up there. The villagers are still up there. That may be something that changes this episode. Uh, but I've got some floor in here. Uh, we've got sort of a spiral staircase that goes around this pillar, which I think is going to be its own building in the in the city here. Uh, well, that'll go down to like the what'll be the forge district of the city. Um, and uh, we've got some outlines of houses kind of houses or shops or other buildings kind of popping up on this level. I've got a lot of floor put in. I'm uh, I'm not sure if it'll stay as flat as this, but uh, this is what we've got to start. It's just kind of our baseline, so to speak. I could probably raise it up over there. I do want, however, uh, now that we've put a hole there, I do want to have like a mob door so I could just aggro all the illagers and, and uh, the illager beasts and stuff through a, just a convenient big old door, one-way door, uh, for them to just follow me through and uh, and then be stuck in here forever. So I might redstoneify that. Uh, by might, I mean probably will, because that's how you get one-way doors in Minecraft, is with redstone. So let's see here. We're so that's I, other than that, I haven't done a whole much, a whole, a whole lot on there. Although that does seem like a like a fair bit to do. Um, however, you can see we've got a we've got a, a, a desert village just sprung up between episodes. I got really inspired. I I kind of just went ham on what was that noise? Outside noises are loud apparently. Um, yeah, I just I just smashed a bunch of of existing uh, village houses buildings together on this hex. A few a few other design inspirations like some sections you get so that sort of clay checker pattern on the ground, and I thought that was cool. We've got a fountain here, and we've got an open area just so they have like an open area. I didn't want to squish it in too much. I wanted to have an open side somewhere. Uh, and then the little farm area. Now what we want to do is get this cow in here without without wrecking the crops. Is that a doable thing? Please be a doable thing. Nope, nope, come this way. Please come this way. Oh, I'm gonna take out that door, aren't I? Fine. Door is gone. Okay, yep, yeah, cow is in. Okay, yes, good. Now come into your pen, cow. There we go. Now this cow lives here. The first resident of our village is here. And it is a cow. We've got a nice little bed there. Yeah? Yeah, you like that? Yeah, good. You're going to be here for a while. Now let's put this door back here. I think we're going to need to place it like that. Yep. That way, that way we've got some depth on the outside of the building. We kind of have this sort of alcove that people can kind of like stand in out of the rain while they're waiting for someone to answer the door or or to put their hood up in the rain and they walk out. This desert-like hex isn't in the desert, so uh, it's going to rain at some point, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what we've got going on. Let me show you guys um, these sort of under area it's not super like impressive or anything it's still mostly remnants of the iron farm and uh, continuation of this I've fenced this off so that the illagers don't once I close that 
uh, don't get out. Uh, because I imagine, and I think I mentioned this last episode, that with stairs that lead downwards, they are probably all going to just pool down here and be stuck here for forever and never make it back to the top of the city. Uh, but just in case that doesn't happen, we're decorating the whole thing. Uh, and uh, it should be interesting. I might have to... You know, if the villagers have cows, and cows aren't magic, and maybe... Maybe the illagers have stolen a cow from the villagers. Oh, there's a tongue twister in there. So I'm going to mess I'm going to mess this up and say the wrong one at some point, but whatever. Um, then it's feasible that um, it's feasible that the illagers may have stolen a cow. Maybe they kidnapped this cow's life partner or brother. I don't know. Or sister, family member of some vague description. Um, yeah. Oh, and also lime wool. That is here. So I remember which blocks to take out once I... Uh, oh, I, I, need, I need to replace one of them, actually, now that we have the cow in. Uh, so I'm actually going to do something insane here. I'm, I'm, we're going to... This, this village is basically done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. I need to open some of these up. I'm going to put the villagers in here. I'm going to wait till nighttime when they want to go to bed. I'll have to block this off later because there's a bed here that they need. Um, yeah, so wait till nighttime, block it off, keep them safe, and then uh, just kind of keep them like that until the, uh, till the illagers are moved. Once that whole project is done, which is going to be a little bit, but better than nothing. And then, um, and then once the illagers have moved to the city, then we can just uh, let the villagers free. Because why not? Right, so uh, we've got uh, what I, I'm hoping is going to be the least bothersome way to transport these villagers. We've got... Uh, uh, Got some some scaffolding here as a little minecart track in the sky. I like that. I don't have to use a ton of anything to really do this, uh, and that I can just tear it down super easy later. Um, but yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm I'm I, I haven't moved villagers in a while. I tend to try not to do it because I don't like doing it. Uh, but let's see, I'm going to maybe take, oh, that block out, yep, okay. And we're going to put this one here. And maybe even another rail there. I think I think we want to be safe and have a rail there. Uh, wait, no, I want to, I wanna, hold on. Hold on. Replace that. I want to put a stair here. Approaching on sta scaffolding. There we go. Now they won't suffocate. And now we can put our rail right here and pick them up. Alright. If they would just... You know what? Maybe we need a water source in there just to... Oh no, that's gonna... Right. That's not gonna work. Unless I have a sign. Do I have a sign? I have a trap door. That's not quite what I want, though. Um, let's try it without the sign. Let's just see if we can grab a villager. Okay, we've got a nitwit. Ah, but it's not a powered track, so that was a poor decision on my part. And now he's just here. Okay. All right. Um, now what? <laughs> Nope, 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 you, you get... Oh, no. We've got a runner. We've got a runner. He just really wants the doors. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't you, don't you, don't you run out there. Uh, this could get bad. This could be very not good here. Uh, uh, 
Can I get you down to the... Nope. Where the heck are you going now? Okay. So now... You're trapped. I need a rail to place that minecart. I need momentum to place that villager in that minecart. No, come back. Yes, good. Okay. So, um, lessons learned. We need powered rails there. <laughs> uh, let's see, redstone box? Redstone box. This one. All right, let's, let's try this with this one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good. This guy is not a legacy villager. That's interesting. We're going to have a mix of villager types. Which. Oh, oh, he took fall damage. I need to put a water source there then. Uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to just shove him along a little bit here. And Let's see, we're going to destroy some of our decorations, if I put that there, so I'll just kind of look back at that footage later to find out where that was. And yep, we've used pumpkins because they were already here. Don't at me. Uh, and then I really only need to just put the, the water source down. And then they'll, they'll just kind of get pushed like that. Hopefully not into solid blocks. Actually, yeah, not a whole lot of solid blocks that are head level there that they could get just smushed into while they're in that minecart, so I'm, I'm not too worried. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, so now I just have to do that with all the rest of them. Hmm, you know what? I, if we're going to stuff villagers into this village, I maybe need a few more places for them to live, so I might put a house here, but I think what's going to be better is I'm gonna maybe expand this out to the side a little bit, I think. Oh, would you look at that! I've been placing down workstations and now, surprise, there's an iron golem in town. So we'll, we'll see if these if these guys hang around in the town or if they're wide enough to somehow escape on a block or something and and end up somewhere in the base, but that's pretty neat. I'm still Still kind of contemplating putting a building here. Uh, it's either going to be a uh, like a workstation, like a work hall kind of thing, or it's going to be another building that can put a lot more beds in it so that people can get uh, more comfortable. Because I've, I've only just got enough, um, just got enough beds and workstations for everyone in town except the nitwit to have a job. Nitwit still re refuses to have one, but everyone else is 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 good and employed and vocational and and ready to go. And now I also have the challenge of trying to build with the villagers in the village. So that's um, that's an unexpected turn. Um, also, also, so before everyone goes to bed, I've been putting no, oh, not on this floor, but. I've expanded this out, and my voice is going. I don't know why. Um, I've got beds. I've got workstations for people. People are actually pathfinding to the beds. That's a good sign. And, yeah, so we've got a little expansion. Ooh, uh, I don't know. That should be fine. Uh, although, I did forget. Cut sand. That's, that's what we want. Cut sandstone. Aha. Uh -huh. That moment when you realize you forgot a detail. There we go. So now we've got that. We've got our uh, our little addition to the the multiplex, which still has room for a workstation or two here. I could put one there and one there. They're not going to be the workstations of the people who sleep here, um, evidently. Uh, especially with the nitwit having a bed here too and then that guy just 
Oh, I should. You know what? I should fall proof this. Huh. Yep, I. Uh, that's just as I say it. Um, yeah, let's fall proof this thing a little better here. Oh no! Oh, okay. This is precarious. You know what? I'm just gonna oh, put more workstations in here. We're just gonna have this be like a workstation hall kind of thing, I think. Just have them all up in this spiral here. Put one on top of there. Can't use that chest anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to replace that with a barrel. That's fine. We can stick a grindstone here. I don't think this guy wants a saw right beside his head, so we'll put it right there. <laughs> All the noise comes out of the top of the tower. Alright guys, so this is our last villager in the village it'll just scooch there we go there we go and we're raking in diamonds we, we've got lots of paper trades between librarians and and uh, I want to say clerics but it's not clerics it's it's the other one the the cartographers that's who uh, so we've got we've got a, a one or two of each of those and uh, yeah this is this yeah. I Honestly, this is not how I thought I was going to get into the whole villager trading thing. But now that I've started, I want to just continue and build a villager trading hall, like a formal one. Because uh, as much as it's fun to trade with these guys, tracking them down in what is only one hex big. One one of my hex hexes big. But because it's... Like, there, there are nooks and crannies and stairways and things everywhere. It's hard to track people down. I could probably take this... Uh, where's our water source? It's this one. There. Haha! -ha! Tricked the game into thinking it's one water source instead of two. Um, ooh, hi doors. Uh, yeah, but because we've got everyone running around here and whatnot... Uh, trading has been kind of difficult to do consistently it's even if I bring a whole bunch of like paper with me and stuff um, also I'm not sure if we have no we must have enough beds there are people who aren't going to bed on the roof there there's like this I don't know if it's like a book club or a cult or what but uh, I bet you if we go up there we're gonna see oh They've left. There was there was like the the librarian and like one other person up here before. Oh, the cleric and the cartographer. Yeah, they're they're going to book club right now. <laughs> oh, they're not going to bed. Um, but yeah, no, this is this is. Oh, hi, Nitwit. Uh, got a. Oh, oh no, oh no, that's not good. Uh, now, oh, here's a question. Will the iron golem? Go Iron Golem try to fight me now. Now that I've accidentally hit that nitwit. I don't want to hit the nitwits and stuff, but oh, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. If I come down here, is he gonna whack? Smack? No? Okay, good. I I almost cra crapped bricks there. That was that could have been bad. Um, but yeah, I think I think I think with the how how crammed in these guys are, I think. Especially with the, with the additions to a couple of these buildings here, like this apartment-looking building here and everything. I think what I might do instead of keeping this as the one and only village is uh, I might just expand and have like another... We've got we've got room. We've got room. We've, what's what's down there? It's the the bee farm hex. We can cover the bee farm hex over with a with a hex about the height of these uh, other settlers' hexes, 
we can have a, like another village or or a pathway or or another other scenery hex kind of thing i like i like the idea of having all the scenery hexes kind of like ground level ish like between the level of these lower ones and and those far ones over there in this one so i think i think that might be a thing we do um amongst all the other plans i have for this this uh this series this world so that that could be fun i also have to put a wall in there because zombies were climbing over the hills and falling onto the bridge and causing a nuisance here so is that why you're stuck here dude can i just can i bump you that way just a tad more cool thanks your safety has been ensured now um anyway so yeah that's <laughs> that's that's a thing so let's I think I think we're gonna move on to another another little project here in a moment here. Guys, we don't need a cat farm. Good news. They're just spawning in my item room now. This is so weird, but I it's great. There we go. And that's another one. All right, and we're back at the flower field being converted from the flower forest. I've now, I, okay, I, I, I think I need to show you guys just how big this biome is here. So it goes, let's see, we've outlined it through here. It goes all the way under this hill a good ways in there. Oop. Then it goes all the way under this hill, through here, back around this way, out here, back under this hill. Oh, can I make it? Uh, not quite. Uh, back around through here. This is a little skinny section here. Around and back under that hill again. This is this is a. There are much smaller <laughs> flower forests than than this one was, so maybe maybe I've learned a lesson that uh, next time I'm going to tackle a, a smaller project. But you can see we've 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 burrowed every, every all the two block spaces out, um, uh, everywhere. Some of the grass is still growing, as you can see. Uh, we've still got I've got lights in. I don't think they're sufficient in some places over here to grow that grass. Or maybe I just haven't been hanging out that long. Either could be the case. Anyway, so now what we have to do is the painstaking process of bone mealing the grass here, taking out all the non-flower bits, and figuring out where is the most efficient place, or where are the most efficient places, to put a flower farm, or flower farms... Uh, so instead of showing this, again, incredibly monotonous process of just bone mealing and taking things out again, we're just, we're just gonna cut to what is probably a little more interesting. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I think we're gonna end our episode here. So I'm gonna sh just show you quickly the progress we've made on our flower forest here you can see behind me under the mountains we've got some uh, some lovely lovely uh, what's the purple flower called again I forget what they're called there was one episode of a previous series where I went a very long way just to get one of those uh, but uh, what are they what are they called what are they called it's gonna bug me if I don't find out there's also a pocket of monsters above us here. Allium. It, I don't even have to look it up and it's an allium. It's definitely, yeah, an allium. That's what, that's what they are. 
Um, so yeah, we've got we've got alliums, we've got tulips of many many colors. We've got lots of daisies. Oh, daisy! There are lots of those. And we've got some cornflowers. We've got some little. It's interesting. Some of the patterns coming out of here. So this is like a little eye of of the lily of the valley in the middle of these cornflowers and stuff. I think that's kind of neat. Uh, you could see where I'm bone mealing sort of the border is this this sort of tall grass area and then under under this mountain we've got a bit of uh, a bit more tulips a bit more cornflower a bit more daisy a little bit more allium oops come on there we go that's that looks pretty neat from up here doesn't it anyway i hope you have a good now have a good later and we'll see you next episode, where we probably don't look at this at all, because it's going to take me a very long time. I'm almost out of, like, bone blocks and bone meal trying to get this project uh, done. So we will probably look at something else for the interim. Goodbye!